hello welcome to my easy statistics in this video i am going to discuss about principal component analysis extraction method and exploratory factor analysis extraction method generally in factor analysis majority people are using principal component analysis extraction method so in this video we will discuss what is the basic difference between these two methods and which is the one that is appropriate under which condition so let us start the first one we'll discuss is principal component analysis principal component analysis is appropriate when researchers are just exploring for patterns in their data without a theory so you need to use this principal component analysis when you are just seeing what is the relationship between the variables but you are not guided by any theory background any theoretical background you are trying to understand only the relationship between the variables so in this case system will even consider unique and error variables also variance also in the analysis means more analysis will be done to understand the relationship between the items in the analysis and exploratory factor analysis is appropriate when researchers are working from a theory drawn from previous research about the relationship among the variables means you have prepared your questionnaire basing on some theoretical concept and you are trying to see how far you are getting these variables according to the theory then you use exploratory factor analysis now let us do this both extraction methods using an example in this example you can see there are 10 likert scale variables are there different questions are been asked for the respondent about uh, brand loyalty how far you use about the product what is your awareness of the product in this way different questions are asked so when we ask these questions we don't have any sort of theoretical background we have asked different type of questions just to understand how much awareness awareness they have over the brand and how much they are have believing the brand in this way we have different questions we have asked what we'll do is we will do principal component analysis extraction method first and later we will do exploratory factor analysis extraction method next and we'll see we'll compare both uh, and we'll see how the pattern of these questions forming as a group okay let us start the analysis analyze dimension reduction fact analysis in this let me take this 10 variables which are in likert scale descriptives kmvo extraction method now first i am taking principal component analysis method right and rotation i'll keep constant for both extractions i'll keep it as a very max rotation let me see the loading points continue and in the options i want to suppress coefficients which are less than 0.5 so only loadings which are more than 0.5 will be displayed click continue and click ok and now let us see directly only rotated component matrix now this is the rotated component matrix which we got right and you can see uh, question number three is having cross loading it is loading in two components and six is also loading into two components totally they are forming the total 10 variables items are forming into three components now what we'll do we'll do even extraction factor analysis also analyze dimension reduction factor we'll go to extraction here we will change principal component into principal access factoring which is exploratory factor analysis click continue click ok now in the output this is factor matrix rotation one okay rotation factor matrix now in this you can see third is not forming uh, earlier we have seen in principal component analysis it was forming it was loading into two components here also we got three components now what I'll do is I'll copy this uh, two extraction methods to excel I already copied here you can see here uh, this is a rotated component matrix this is a rotated factor matrix extraction method is principal component analysis here extraction method is principal access factoring now let us see what is the pattern they have formed question one in both cases it is forming in first component but it is loading better in the 
principal component. In the second one, here you can see both are having same. But the third variable, it is having loading in both components under principal component analysis. But here you can see it is clear. It is only loading in the component one. Fourth one, you can see it is loading in the third component. But here it is loading into second component. And you can see the sixth one, it is having load cross loading in both components. Whereas you can see the sixth variable is having loading only into third component. Right. And you can see seventh one is loading the third component. It is loading in the second component. And eight, nine, ten are loading under sec first component. You can see this eighth question variable is not at all loaded. Okay means there is no loading for this more than 0 0.5 because we have suppressed loading which is less than 0 0.5 so we are not seeing any loading only these two are loading here now already we have discussed principal component analysis must be used where you don't have any sort of theoretical background just to understand how these variables are forming into group since my questionnaire which I prepared does not have any theoretical background just randomly we prepared different questions to understand what is the loyalty they have the brands when they are using the shampoo what is awareness they have and different type of other uh, consumer related questions I have asked so this is the one which I must use so in this we are having third question is having cross loading and uh, even f sixth one is also having cross loading so I'm, I'm I need to intended to use this method may better than the principal access factoring in case you have prepared your questionnaire basing on a theoretical background basing on a theoretical background it is always better to go with the factor uh, rotated factor matrix that is principal access factoring i wish this video will be useful for your research thank you